Hello again folks, this is Scott out here in Queensbury. I'm doing a review on my uh, new drone that I purchased on Amazon. It was like $75 for the shipping and tax with the Prime account. Um, in this particular model, um, it it's opens up when you fold it out, whatever, and I'll show you here in a moment. Uh, it's usually, it's like 12 and a half by 12 and a half with expanded wings. And this is a uh, 4D F10 uh, drone, and it'll last anywhere from 15, 15 to 17 minutes, 15 to 17 minutes uh, flying time in the air. So far, after playing it for several hours today, whatever, I was actually it's super fast. It has three speeds. Um, it has auto return feature on it, which I still have to figure that out. You can hook your cell phone to it so you can uh, film the videos and stuff with an app that you download with a barcode that's actually in a book that you actually zoom in on it and it actually adds the, uh, the app to your cell phone, whatever, so you can visually see it and record, which I have to, I'll figure that feature out. And I still have to figure out the uh, auto return feature because every time I hit the auto return feature, for some reason, it takes off in an opposite direction, so I'm not sure exactly how that is. Um, there's a couple things on the... Uh, the drone I still have to figure out, but overall, I mean, my first uh, impression of the drone, I really like it. So I'll show you here, like I say, and it says uh, 4VRC on the box here. Um, yeah, so maybe that is the name, whatever. But it's actually a 4D F10. All right, so type in 4D F10 on Amazon if you want this one. All right, it comes with a remote. Fairly small, three AA batteries to put in it, whatever. It's got all the functions on here. Um, it's actually, uh, like I say, it's fairly smaller than what I thought, whatever, but it gets the job done, whatever. Um, it has a takeoff and landing feature on the button. Um, it has three different speeds on the front controls here. It controls three different speeds. So if you, and, and the slow speed's really fast, so you lose control really quick on that. Um, it has takeoff and landing feature where you hit the one button, it'll take off and land. It'll go right, left, up and down. Uh, this thing will do flips. You go up to a certain altitude, which is capable of 300 feet with this particular uh, drone. Um, it'll actually flip upside down. It'll flip right, flip left. So that's a cool feature. Uh, it's got the front headlights that are always on, and it's got a backlight on it, whatever like that. And supposedly you hook it up Wi-Fi, so this way, I think once I hook it up Wi-Fi, that's when the, uh, the auto return feature will work. I think it works off the Wi-Fi so it knows where it took off from and where it landed. There's a one button thing where it'll take off. It'll take off and land with a one button thing and there's an emergency stop on the bottom here. You hit the emergency stop and all of a sudden it'll stop and it'll drop to the ground and the lights will stay solid so this way you can find it if it's darker. Uh, I, I, uh, I like playing it just when the sun went down. I had the best fun with this thing, playing it, whatever, because the sun wasn't right in your eyes. You can actually see the front the lights and the back lights so you can see you're coming and going because sometimes it's hard to uh, to tell on this when it's bright when the sun's out um, and you want low wind on this whatever uh, so I, I realize that too with real high winds it's a little harder flying but if you get the lower winds are the better so overall I, I'd recommend buying this for the price it's, uh they give you extra wings you've got uh, two slide on battery packs that slide right into the back it takes, uh, what is it, 60, 75 minutes to charge each battery, but I have an extra wire or whatever, and you got to hook it to a 5-volt DC power pack. You know, uh, that's what that's the equipped USB is supposed to be in this, because some USBs, wall outlets, are, they put out 12 volts, but it's got to be no more than 5 volts to be able to work on this. So as you see, it's a little dinky thing, and you got this little case that it goes into. It makes it nice. But like I say, it's got two of these, so you got two batteries. That slide right in. All right, you take this, you pull it out. Snaps right out. You know? So overall, it's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. You got four extra blades, four extra blades with it, two batteries. You got running lights right here that are actually pretty bright. And then this light right here in the back lights up nice and red so you know the front and the back machine. And this thing too here, once it maintains a certain height, so if you go up to a certain height, it'll maintain that certain height and stay there. So that's one of the, one of the features that it has. Another feature it has where it'll actually do one circle, it'll fly it around the circle, and if you hold the button down, it'll fly in a complete circle. As you hold it down, it'll just keep going, hover in one continuous circle in the thing, whatever. It'll just keep spinning around. So that makes it nice. Uh, 
This one here, I thought when I ordered it, it actually had the uh, the foul mode where actually you put it on, you can actually foul with it, but I guess it didn't. I really thought it had that on there. And uh, there is the, the headless headless tracking that's on this thing, and I'm not sure exactly what that means. It says headless. I just I don't understand exactly what that means when it says headless. It's got headless mode on it. Uh, they say it what it is is so the drone can go in any direction, but you do that anyway with the controller. Just like a joystick when you're playing Xbox, whatever. Alexa, stop! That you can go up and down, spin, right and cross. So this brings it up. The front button on the controller right here, it actually, one beep for the speed. You hit, hit it once, it's speed one. Hit it twice, it beeps twice for speed two. You hit it three times, it beeps three times, and that's the fastest speed. But at the lowest speed, this thing flies fast. It doesn't have any problem moving. Um, I lost it once in the backyard, whatever, but I found it because I put, I hit the button for the, once I lost control, I hit the one button, it dropped suddenly, and the lights stay on. That way I could find it. You know what I mean? I could find it easy enough, whatever. I wish they'd actually put an alarm on these things, so once it, once you hit the, the uh, emergency stop and it dropped to the ground, whatever, versus just leaving the lights on so they flash, uh, that's another thing. If the lights continually flash after running solid once you initially start the, the airplane up, um, from the uh, start and stop button, it'll 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 actually uh, um, what was I saying? now? yeah, it'll actually uh, the uh, it'll actually drop to the ground. You know, if if the thing continues continually uh, as you're flying, you see the lights flash. That means the battery's low. Get back to base. Come, you know what I mean. So the other ones that the other uh, cheap drone that I had was made out of foam which you couldn't really hurt, but this one here is more apt to get hurt, whatever, because it doesn't have anything supporting around the wings, like some of the styrofoam ones, but if you're a beginner and you want to start out with one of these things, go with the $39 one on Amazon, it's, it's actually styrofoam, you can actually fly it in the house, you can bump walls, barely, uh, it's indestructible, you, you, you can't destroy the thing, the way it's designed, it actually does flip in midair and stuff, but this one here will flip this way, overhead, it'll flip over, back and uh, completely around, foot in-flight uh, flip, so it's really cool. So overall, I would recommend this thing. It's actually uh, a pretty good toy. I'll probably be upgrading to a, a nicer one, whatever. It's got the two legs on the front. I know they do have one of these, some of these uh, that actually have four legs, whatever like that on it, that drop right down. I don't know why there's only two legs on this versus on the two, but you always start off this way, whatever. Uh, yeah, but the headless mode, I still got to figure out. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that is. I've read it over in the book a couple of times. I'm not sure exactly what that means. It just means going in every direction. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, and I thought this had the foul mode in it. So it actually put it on so it actually follow you. But this model doesn't. So maybe later on the road when I buy it, I'll upgrade and go to a newer one. But overall, would I recommend this? I'd recommend it so far. Uh, I'll do an in-flight review probably tomorrow or the next day, whatever. And I'll do some more videos on this particular model just to let you know how I like it so far. But this was day one. I just received this today in the mail through Amazon, whatever. So look at it here. Pretty nice. I would recommend it so far. And with the two batteries, and you can buy an extra uh, extra battery with four extra wings uh, with the charging cable for $20 on Amazon, which I'll probably end up doing that if I find out that I really like this and I can get the uh, auto return feature to work on this. But... Once I hook it to my cell phone, and you should be able to you, you do videos that it saves it to your phone in sight because you got a camera right in the front here that lights up and the camera's always on and it's adjustable, it moves up and down. So this is Scott again from Queensbury doing a review on the 4D F10 uh, drone uh, sold on Amazon. Have a nice day. Hope you like my uh, review. And like I said, I'll do uh, further reviews on this model here in the next few days. So uh, stay tuned, watch my channel, whatever. This is Scott, live from Queensbury. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.